We've been asking a lot of questions about whether or not these natural disasters are more foreseeable, and we all know our region could be the next one to be pounded by a hurricane, a flood or a blizzard. Our reporter Scott Broom has been looking at flood models and maps for a couple of days now, and he joins us with some interesting findings. All right, so what if you're sitting at your kitchen counter or your office and you're wondering, hey, could this happen to me? What about my house or what about my mom's house someplace in Arkansas or wherever? Well, it turns out there's an app for that and a pretty good one. It's called the FEMA Flood Map Service Center. You can pretty much type in any address in a populated area of the U.S. and it will give you the real maps used by emergency planners and insurance companies to tell you what the risks are. So let's go to 4100 Wisconsin Avenue. That's WUSA 9's address. And we learned we're close to a little stream here, but not in a flood zone. Now, if I put in my sister television station down in Houston, KHOU, oh my, this map says they could be in trouble. And in fact, that is exactly what happened there. Look, the water is coming in the building. So this works. Zoom it out and we can see that in D.C. during a catastrophic flood event, it is entirely possible for water to get close to the ellipse near the White House and to put the Federal Triangle underwater, leaving the Smithsonian on an island. It has happened before. D.C.'s greatest flood was in 1936, bigger than even Agnes, and the pictures look remarkably like the map. So this thing is really like Google Maps for a disaster. It works. Look it up. It's called FEMA Flood Map Service Center. It's online. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. DC's Emergency Management Agency says it has identified at least 100 usable sites for shelters in a disaster. And get this, one in 20 DC residents is considered to have some extreme vulnerability, like a, a disability or an illness, that would mean that they would need help to evacuate anywhere. That is 35,000 people just in the city.